Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, just a quick extra thank you for 15,000 subscribers. I am already climbing past that, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful. Before we get started, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new here. We are at Saddle Mountain BLM in Tonopah, Arizona. It's only about 35 minutes from my home base and only about 15 to 20 minutes from the Buckeye BLM that we were at this morning, I guess. So today was a shower day. Can you tell by my hair? So even though it's windy and I've had to be outside with my hat on and my scrunchie in my hair because it's super windy, um, I feel better. I always feel better after showering, of course. And yes, it is very windy today. We are expecting up to 18 miles per hour of wind. There was even a dust devil that came through camp, literally lifted up my table outside, threw my Bluetooth speaker into the rocks, and uh, kind of annihilated my little camp spot here. But those are desert things. So in this video, I will be showing you what we're up to at camp. It is supposed to rain tonight, so I will also show you my water resistant blanket that I cover my stuff with when I am anticipating rain. I've had it for about three years now and it is very, very handy. So I will show you that and talk about some other van life things. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm kind of over these windy days, but tell you what, we have views for days here at Saddle Mountain. This is my minimal setup until tomorrow because we are expecting rain tonight. And this is my water resistant outdoor blanket that I always carry in my rooftop box. I can put my chair, Winston's playpen and everything, kind of set it up next to my van and put the blanket over it uh, to keep everything dry when it does rain because the water repels right off and I hung up my tapestry with magnets and also clipped it to my shelf so it kind of stay in place despite the wind so I can get that airflow going through but I don't know it might be a little too windy for that it is beautiful though temperature wise 71 degrees and sunny so it's hard to complain about the wind on a day like this there are some other campers in the area and there's Maddie doing the Maddie stance with his with his new hat that he loves. <laughs> it is a nice day for a bike ride and to eat a bone outside. I gave Winston his daily dream bone, so he's doing his yoga <laughs> while he enjoys his bone. There goes Maddie off on an adventure. And I'm just hanging out, having a snack, chilling, watching the boys. He's really been going ham on that bone. I ended up closing my trunk because it was just too windy to have it open and have my tapestry there. So instead, I hung my tapestry with some magnets. As you can, you can see the wind <laughs> right there. I didn't even put out my table with my water because it's supposed to rain tonight. So the less items I can put out, the better. That's why I actually had my spray bottle and my washcloth out. But Winston doesn't mind the wind. I am blocking it with my van because it's blowing from the south and this door is facing north. So I do have a bit of a block here, which is nice. I did show you all that I received my synthetic get out gear double puffy blanket but I also received this other down blanket because it's actually technically a replacement for my original one which is still good but one of the snaps broke off of the poncho part of it so they ended up sending me a replacement this brand it not only makes quality products but they are just such a great helpful company so now not only will I be comparing the synthetic blanket to the down blanket but I will also be showing you my new gray one and that'll probably be coming in a video in the next few days or so 
We aren't expecting a ton of rain tonight. If we were, I'd probably put all my stuff away. But in the meantime, here is my chair and Winston's playpen and his ramp all under my water resistant blanket. So that should keep everything protected and my collapsible trash bin zips up. So everything should be good to go. It's still kind of early. It's only like 5.15, but I got in the van with Winston because it's nice and toasty warm in here and it was just a little too windy outside. I think we were both just slightly uncomfortable and because it was 71 degrees today and I had my window shades down, it is very toasty and cozy in here. So it is time to catch up on our shows. Winston already ate dinner and I uh, packed up and in anticipation for the rain tonight. So we are all set to go for another relaxing evening. Now, Saddle Mountain BLM is 14-day dispersed camping. I do recommend coming with levelers if uh, possible because although the land looks flat, it's kind of at a slant, and especially if you have a bigger rig, it might be difficult for you to get level. So there are several different locations at Saddle Mountain that you can camp, and you can go pretty far back from the highway if you want to. Um, it is big rig friendly, I'd say toward the front of Saddle Mountain, but the further you get back into the area, the more difficult it will get to navigate. So I also recommend taking the Tonopah exit, uh, traveling on the I-10. Do not take the Salome exit because you'll end up having to traverse a dirt road so it's much easier to get here via the Tonopah exit and there are a couple gas stations and things right off of that exit I think it's exit 94 so easy to get to from there I'm just petting Winston because you know how exhausting his life is <laughs> um, but anyway so yeah 14 day dispersed camping just like Robins Butte uh, in Buckeye and it really is an awesome awesome location did you just fart that is so rancid like that is so rancid it smells like eggs it smells like rotten eggs you are gassy today mm, good thing I have the door open a crack because that is oof yikes Oh, at least you're a small dog, so it's not too bad, huh? Gosh, that is that is very rancid. But you don't care, do you? I took out my new Get Out Gear blanket. So this is the gray with the red trim on it. I decided that since I already have two of the teal get out gear blankets i wanted the gray of course you know how much i love gray obviously gray gray everything's gray everything's gray and teal and blue so i took it out so i could get it puffed up honestly tonight we probably won't really need it it's it's gonna be like 47 tonight it'll be another beautiful night but i wanted to take it out just so i could kind of see the color turns out of course it matches the van perfectly yay um and honestly, I might have Winston use this blanket tonight. I'm not really sure, but I just wanted to take it out and see. And of course, I love it. Hi, what you thinking? Are you thinking you've been gassing out mom with your rancid farts? <laughs> you know you wouldn't do that, would you? No, you would not. No, you would not. Are you tired? You look tired. Are you snoozy? We turned on the tulip lights for the night. Uh-oh, did I just let a fly in here? Yeah, we better get that out. Oh, okay, hi. Come here. Here, turn around. I'll give you a massage. Come here. Come closer. Come here. Come closer. What are you thinking? Come here. I'll give you a back massage. You want to come closer? Maybe not. Well, I think we are going to call it a night and wrap up this video. Sun is not quite down yet, 
but I secured our waterproof blanket outside to make sure everything is good to go for the evening and now I'm just watching my shows. I'm excited to share some reviews with you all in the next couple of days. Oh, there's my new Get Out Gear sticker that they sent me with my blankets. I have my solar review coming and you know, hopefully we will adventure somewhere new within this next week. Um, we've been sticking around Saddle Mountain and Buckeye because it's been rainy and cold everywhere in Arizona. So we are hoping for a change of scenery and I hope to share that with you guys within the next week. So thank you so much for being here and we will see you next time.